ladies today's video is essentially me showing you how i went from that <laughs> oh my goodness to this okay oh and i'll also be sharing my makeup routine with you hello elegant ladies welcome back to my channel my name is ayani me and in today's video i'll be sharing with you the step-by-step -step process that i used in leveling up aka my glow up guide and at the same time i'll be doing my makeup so you will essentially get to see my makeup routine i am not going to take very much of your time we're just going to jump right in before i start sharing with you the process that i used the first thing i want to address is that working from the inside out is a lie that rarely works this mentality that you should start working on your mindset. You should start working from the inside, deal with your emotions and your self-image and the way you look at things, your values, before you start targeting the outside. It's a lie. I think we actually underestimate how powerful our appearance is. The thing about working from your inside out is that your growth is not tangible. It is not something that others can see, compliment you on, which can actually empower you. So it gets a bit discouraging. Every time you wake up, you look at yourself in the mirror and you really don't like what you're seeing. I need to start doing my makeup. What am I doing? Let me quickly start my makeup process and I'm going to come right back because this conversation is taking my entire attention and I am forgetting that I'm supposed to be doing my makeup also. Okay, so I finished prepping my face. I have a really oily face and I have to use Pons. Let me look at it. I think this is the product. Pons product. Can you see that? Okay, so that's what I use to control the oil on my face. I tried approaching my glow up or level up journey in that manner you know i was reading books i was trying to heal work on my mindset and it wasn't really working it was like i wasn't seeing any results at the time i had this very silly mindset that women who were so focused on their appearance were vain they were doing so much or that they were hiding their insecurities by focusing on their appearance it was when i started approaching my journey from the outside in that i started enjoying this glow up and level up journey that was when i realized that looking good motivated me to work on the other areas of my life i think it's about to rain my god ladies if you hear a, a bit of a, a noise in the background that's the rain i would look in the mirror like what i see and i would be so motivated to conduct myself elegantly throughout that day i would dress well look good feel good that i would instantly be allergic to nonsense i'll be like no i look too good for this to be happening and i'll walk away even though i didn't have everything figured out at the time i still don't by the way and i also hadn't gotten everything i wanted i wasn't feeling dissatisfied like i used to feel before i was hopeful happy excited about the journey and every time i received a compliment from the people around me from strangers this just served as a motivation to work on other areas at that point i finally felt in control of my life i really did and that really really helped me coupled with the fact that i was attracting better people into my life just made this journey this exciting thing that i really wanted to stick to so it's important for you to understand that yes glowing up from the outside in may seem vain but it is one of the approaches that works very very quickly so immediately i figured that out i decided to start working on my appearance and the first area of my appearance i targeted was my skin before i started this journey i didn't care very much about skincare i honestly did not and because of this by the time my skin had gotten so bad i needed professional help a lady in church saw me she was working with the clinic at the time i'll, sh I'll leave their link in the description a lot of the things i'm going to talk about in this video the resources the brands that you can work with i'll leave 
them right in the description so i was so happy that the lady in church saw me i mean she has spoken to me a number of times come to our clinic come and get your skin taken care of and i would refuse because i had already worked with somebody who after i spent so much damaged my skin that i was i was no longer interested but she sent me their instagram page and i went through the page and i was amazed so that encouraged me to go in for a consultation i went in for the consultation and spent so much but within a couple of weeks my skin looked so different i couldn't even believe that that was me i know that there are women who have learned to live with their acne and acne scars but even when you have found a coping mechanism i found out that you still want or crave a better skin because having a bad skin can really wreak havoc on your self-confidence i remember how i would feel so self-conscious talking to people i would not want to make eye contact and then i would use makeup to try to cover up the bad skin which if you know anything about skincare is such a horrible thing to do it was when i finally got my skin sorted out that i finally started feeling like myself i mean i felt on top of the world i would look at myself in the mirror and i would feel so good i didn't care if i had makeup on or not i was glowing so much so that my friend saw me in church left her seat came to where i was seated and said is this you <laughs> that's what happens imagine getting that kind of compliment from somebody you will be motivated to work on other areas so that's what i mean by even as you're doing the inside work don't ignore the outside work i know that there are levels to this acne business your own may be so bad that you've done everything possible and you're saying you know what i've given up i'm done before you do that i am going to recommend this clinic to you it is going to be expensive but you would be happy you went there and it doesn't matter where you are in the world because they have some offices around the world and you can reach out to them and see how they can help you it's called the aesthetic clinic i'll leave their link in the description this is not an ad this is a clinic that i recommend to anybody and everybody now if your skin is not really really bad but you want to maintain it i'm going to now recommend iva wellness to you iva wellness is really good she's the one that is doing my skin maintenance now i need to set my forehead because my forehead have this line so what i do is i set that particular part when i do that the foundation doesn't crack these two brands that i shared with you these are qualified aestheticians i have two detailed videos here on this channel where i talk about my makeup sorry my skincare routine <laughs> i said makeup and skincare mistakes that you are likely making these are mistakes that i found out when i started working with the right people so do well to watch the video your skincare is an investment that will pay dividends for years to come it may be expensive but it is one of those things i am going to encourage you to save up for so that you can get it taken care of trust me you will be happy that you did once i started dealing with my skincare the next thing i started dealing with was my grooming and beauty routine ladies there was a time <laughs> when i was comfortable walking around with chipped nails i was comfortable walking around with unkempt hair i did not care can you believe that that is something that i cannot even do right now i would literally feel like i'm going to crawl out of my skin but once upon a time that was me i am so invested in my appearance right now and what helped me get to this stage was putting certain things in place to help me stay committed because committing to your appearance can be a bit tedious you need to actually force yourself in the beginning to do the right thing you need to create out time for yourself and i have a video here about that how to commit to your appearance go watch that video you're going to learn so much okay i'm about to do my eyebrow and i hope the gods of eyebrow will shine a light <laughs> on me at this stage i now have a schedule for everything i have a schedule for my monthly skincare maintenance i have a schedule for my nails i have a schedule for my 
hair, everything. I also invested heavily in tools because I realized that having certain tools at home made it very easy for me to commit to my appearance. I have my hair tools, I have my nail kit. I invested in this so much that a friend of mine, she's in the hair business. Whenever she's coming to visit me, she doesn't come with anything nothing because i have everything she needs from hair coiler straightener l'oreal steam pod hot comb the mannequin head the products <laughs> combs everything i also invested in a nail kit i'm carrying my natural nails right now i just have the top coat on it because my nails started chipping i don't have the time to go get it done but rather than walk around with chipped nails i decided to take everything off dissolve it and then just give myself a mini manicure i'm able to do that because i have those tools at home it is also going to save you a lot of money trust me and make things really easy for you did we do it <laughs> So, okay, so having these tools at home, right, has helped me in such a way that if I am pressed for time, I can coil my hair by myself instead of going to the salon. If I break a nail, I can get it fixed. What this does is that it helps me or it ensures that I do not leave the house without looking my absolute best. You need to invest in your tools, okay? That is the next thing that you can do for yourself that is really going to help you with your beauty routine and your grooming. The next area I started working on was my health and my fitness. I was never really overweight, but I noticed that I was really weak in my body. My posture was horrible. I would slouch and I knew that I had to work on that so that I could feel better about myself. Funny enough, I never went to the gym. All I did was I disciplined myself to do the work even when I was at home. And I'll share with you, specifically share with you the things that I did. So the first thing I, would, I did was that at the start of every week, I would research the YouTube video. Like four YouTube videos I would love to use in working out that way. So I have them set up so that I'm not waking up to start looking for what workout to do. I would plan my workout. Then if I was going to work out say tomorrow, Tonight, before going to bed, I'll take out my gym wear, lay it out, and go to bed. Immediately, I open my eye, my eyes, rather, and I mean immediately, I would stand up from the bed, put on the workout outfit, brush my teeth, and do my workout. I found out that this really helped compared to me waking up, lounging on my bed, pressing my phone. Any day I would do, approach it like that, I would not work out that day. The simple act of putting on that outfit, that workout outfit, is such a big motivation. The next thing I added to my routine was yoga. Yoga is so amazing when it comes to body posture. If you haven't been doing yoga and you have a bad posture, start doing yoga. Slouching just means that your back is weak and by strengthening it, you feel better, really. And you're also going to be very, very flexible which is really good too. The third thing I did regarding my health was to start eating healthier. I would plan my meals before, sorry about that, somebody's car is making noise. I would plan my meals beforehand and that really helped. So I wasn't just waking up trying to look forward to eat. Everything was planned out and it really helped. The resources I use for my health, for yoga, I do yoga with Adrian here on YouTube. Then for workout, I joined the routines program. I had to run offline <laughs> to go get my eyebrow fixed because the god of eyebrow wasn't looking at me today. And like I was saying, I also have an app on my phone that I use when I want to run. After health, my next target was my style. For a long time, I had no idea what worked for my body shape. Can you imagine a woman with an inverted triangle body shape having a wardrobe filled with skinny jeans, pencil dresses and skirts? That was me. <laughs> I knew nothing about styling my body, shopping intentionally, building a timeless wardrobe with clothing items that I could get the most out of. I didn't know these things. So I decided to learn about them. And what I did there was that I bought some courses did research and started my style journey. I made sure that I learned about how to style my body shape. I learned about colors that work for my skin tone, classic 
prints, the right type of fabrics, accessories, everything that I needed to know so that I could be the very best stylist for myself. I gradually, gradually curated a signature look. I became so good at styling myself that I became an inspiration to my friends, to the women in my online community, like yourself. <laughs> and that ultimately led to the styling your essence course my signature course where i share with you how you can curate a timeless feminine and elegant style that's a course that women from over 30 countries have taken so if you haven't link is in the description this course is so good that i actually have a client who took the course so that she can start a career as a stylist can you imagine that that's amazing, right? So click on the link in the description. On the registration page, you're able to view the entire course content. You will see what is covered in each module. And trust me, you will not be able to resist this course. My style keeps evolving and I am embracing new things. But at the end of the day, I have the foundation when it comes to styling my body. I know what works and what doesn't work for me. Leveling up your style is an essential part of your glow up. Understanding the principle of cost per way will help you know what you should actually spend your money on. Another aspect to my style that I invested in was makeup. If you look at my old videos, you will see that my face was oily my makeup was not properly applied it didn't look good at all so immediately i noticed this i decided by the way if you notice any area of your life that you're de deficient in that's your sign to work on that area so when i noticed that my makeup wasn't looking the way i wanted it to look i invested in that my makeup now looks better as you will see because you are essentially watching as i transform myself so you get to see all my little little tips and tricks and the final area that i knew i had to work on was raising my standards building my self-confidence and my self-esteem. But before I get into this particular point, if you are enjoying this video, take a moment to click on the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment sharing your thoughts with me. Because from my dashboard, I noticed that a lot of the ladies who watch my videos haven't subscribed hope that's not you so if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe to the channel okay now I'm raising my standards and building my self-confidence and self-esteem even though i was leveling up starting to feel great about myself i noticed that i was still accepting experiences people and things into my life that were below the standard that i was aiming for when i noticed this i had to find a way to raise my standards and build my self-confidence as quickly as possible we often hear raise your standards raise your standards raise your standards we hear this over and over and it always amazes me when people scream that but they don't really tell you the principle you need to follow to truly raise your standards listen your standards is about you it is not about the other person if i set a standard that i will never date a broke man it does not stop a broke man from approaching me it means that because i have set a standard i just say no how can you raise your standards when where you are in your life attracts people that are lower than the standards that you are aiming for how do you raise your standards when you are not willing to work to get yourself to a particular standard where you feel comfortable and confident enough to demand what you want from the people around you it starts with you you need to be able to work and push yourself to a certain level so that it becomes easier for you to ask for what you want. You first have to demand better of yourself, not of another person, of yourself. This was one of the things that I had to work on because I was so used to accepting crumbs. Sometimes I would get so desperate because of the situation and I would just accept anything. This wreaked havoc on me, it really did. I started truly becoming confident and comfortable raising my standards and demanding what i truly wanted from people when i was first able to do that for myself and because i was now comfortable doing certain things for myself the other person not being able to do it wasn't the end of the world but i was only able to do that when i started demanding better of myself i said i 
I am going to work, discipline myself, put in the work and do everything I need to move from this level that I am to a better level. Operating like that also helped because the people that I am attracting into my life now, they are not even doing for me what I can do for myself. They're actually doing for me things that I cannot do for myself. Another thing that also helped with shedding this mindset was making sure that I had a plan B, C, D, E, F, G. So before I would go to somebody to ask for anything, I would make sure, make sure that if they said no, I would not be desperate and start begging them for crumbs because I have a plan B and I have a plan C and a plan D. This mindset was actually inspired by an inscription that I saw. It said plan A didn't work. Thank God there are 25 more letters to go. It is so difficult to demand better from people when you cannot give yourself better. So start there. That's how you raise your standards. Let's talk about self-confidence. There are a lot of people and a lot of books on self-confidence. I even have a video on this channel about self-confidence. The one thing that I have found out builds self-confidence is you keeping the promises you have made to yourself. So I'll share some practical examples with you. Let's say that when it comes to budgeting and managing your money well, you're very bad, like you're really terrible at this. And you hate that you are terrible at it. You now make a decision to yourself. You say to yourself from next month, I am going to do better. I am going to manage my money so well that I will be able to save, meet up with my expenses and still invest some. That's a promise that you have made to yourself. So because you've made that promise to yourself, you put the right measures in place and you meet that goal. You keep that promise. Nobody can tell you anything. Trust me. Your self-confidence in that area is going to go way up. You will feel so empowered and so proud of yourself because you kept that promise. Another example is that you could be in a relationship or situationship that is bad for you. You know that this relationship is not it for you. You need to get out as quickly as possible. You know you deserve better, but you're scared. So one day you say to yourself, I am going to leave this relationship. I don't care how painful it is. I don't care if I starve. I am going to leave this relationship and I am going to make sure that this never happens to me again. That's a promise you have made to yourself and you keep that promise. It's painful. You have to cry yourself to bed every night. You have to rant to your girlfriends and they are tired of listening to you, but you keep that promise and gradually you walk through that pain, come out at the other end and you feel good, you feel wonderful. That incident will boost your self-confidence that you'll be telling yourself, if I survived this, I can survive anything else. Your self-worth will skyrocket so much that you'll be, you'll be so intentional about the type of man you accept into your life. We make promises to ourselves every day. Thousands of promises. I will stick to a healthy diet. I will be more intentional with my work. I will do everything that I can to grow my business. I will discipline myself and get fit. So many promises. If you start keeping those promises, my goodness, you will be amazed at how much your self-confidence self-esteem and self-value improves. That is the one thing that I have found out really builds self-confidence. And the final thing that you need to do is to watch YouTube videos. I mean, this goes without saying. One of the things that I did was that I started consuming content, empowering content, content that helped shape my mindset, that helped me see myself better, that inspired me to demand the best out of life. Ladies, I, I need to do my lashes, so I'm gonna run away now, <laughs> get my lashes done, and I'll come back so that we can quickly address this final point. Where were we watching YouTube videos? Yes. So like I said, I followed a lot of women who inspired me and gave me a foundation to build on. So what I'll tell you here is that you should pick a role model whose beliefs aligns with yours. 
a role model that inspires you, encourages you, or an influencer whose content edifies you and makes you happy to go on this journey. And you want to run from any influencer or role model whose content ends up making you hate yourself or where you are in your life. You know those sort of influencers that when you go on their page, you don't feel really good about yourself? You want to avoid those kinds of influencers or role models. So if you have anybody that every time you jump on their page, you come off with a game plan, practical game plans on what you can do to improve your life. That's the elegance influencer, level up influencer or level up role model you want to work with. And I really pray and hope that that is what this channel it does for you. Because the last thing I want is for you to feel less than if you come on this channel. I want my content to inspire you and make you want to embrace this journey more and more. If I am that type of influencer, let me know in the comments. And if there is anything you would like me to change, let me know also. I'm always open to ideas and suggestions, okay? So to wrap up, go for an influencer that inspires or evokes positive emotions in you rather than negative emotions. That is really, really important, okay? So ladies, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to quickly do my lips. Maybe I'll video me doing it or something, but let's see. Ladies, I am back. So I've done my hair. I'm not very sure if I like the way this hair was curled. I went to a different place that I usually go to to get it curled and I'm not sure if I like it. I was too lazy to do it myself, but anyways, what can we do? And that's it on today's video. I would love to hear your thoughts. Share them with me in the comment section. Which of these look up guide or tip are you going to implement and which one are you already implementing? I look forward to reading your comments. In the next video, which comes up in just a few days, I'm sure you've noticed that I am more intentional about uploading videos on this channel every Wednesday and Sunday. And in the next video, I am going to cover elegant bedroom practices. Ooh. <laughs> That's an exciting topic, isn't it? It promises to be an interesting video. So do subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so that you do not miss that video. As always, ladies, be kind to yourself and I'll see you in that video. Bye.